Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about proteins. So proteins have a single uh, building block called an amino acid. So this amino acid is its monomer. And then when we talk about the polymer, you're going to have a chain of amino acids. So this polymer of a protein actually has a special name. It's called a polypeptide. So in this short little video, we're going to talk about the monomer and polymer of proteins. So when we talk about proteins, though, like what are some examples of proteins in our lives, right? Well, we have lots of different kinds of proteins in our cell membranes. Uh, we also have proteins like when we talk about our muscles and building up muscle fibers, uh, those are actually proteins. So when someone lifts weights and they are like increasing their muscle size or their muscle mass, they actually need to make sure they're eating protein and eating amino acids in order to build up more muscles. Um, and this is also why when you eat like steak or chicken or a pork chop, you actually are eating the muscles of that animal and therefore that meat has a lot of protein. Um, we also have our antibodies in our immune system. So our immune system relies on proteins. And then we have enzymes. Enzymes are super important in the functioning of our bodies and life on Earth. And enzymes are specialized proteins that help to speed up chemical reactions in our bodies. So when we look at proteins and how they form, so there's actually four steps to a protein. You have your first step, which is the joining together, our polymer of amino acids. Now these amino acids will actually fold up in four different steps. Um, so you can see here, we're not going to study these different steps here, but it actually will take that chain and then begin to fold, and then it comes to its final structure. And the shape of the protein is so important because its shape is what determines its function. So when you change a protein's shape, it could possibly lose its function and stop working. Okay, so um, when we look at this monomer, the building block of proteins, it is an amino acid. But here it's not as simple as a happy little circle. Um, in reality, an amino acid um, looks like this. We see um, carbons in the center and then some different elements. So uh, what elements do you see here, right? We have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. So if a plant was building its own amino acids, could it build its own amino acids from just carbon dioxide and water? No. What else does it need, right? It needs nitrogen. Oops. So what element doesn't come from carbon dioxide and water? Nitrogen. The plant has to get it from somewhere else. So where can this plant get nitrogen from? Well, as plants grow, they're going to use the carbon dioxide from the air and the water to build their cell walls, to build cellulose. However, you just saw in the video that plants are able to take nutrients up from their soil. So let's replay that one more time. So here it'll take carbon dioxide and water, but pay attention right here. The plant will take nitrogen and phosphorus up from the soil and then use those elements to build proteins as well as DNA. So, um, yeah, it gets nitrogen from the soil. And this is why we have things like fertilizer um, on our crops because plants can take CO2 and water, but they're going to need to get nitrogen from the soil as well as phosphorus for when they build their own DNA molecules. Okay, so when we look at the monomer of proteins and the polymer. So the monomer of a protein is an amino acid. And then the polymer of proteins is called a polypeptide. So when we look at proteins, um, they're made of a chain of amino acids. And we actually have 20 different kinds of amino acids. And with 20 different kinds of amino acids, we can make over 100,000 different proteins in our body. It's like the alphabet. You have 26 letters, but you can make thousands of words by rearranging the letters in different combinations, different orders, different amounts, different sequences. So same thing with those 20 amino acids. We can put them in different combinations and different amounts in order to make hundreds of thousands of proteins here on Earth. Now, the average protein is about 400 amino acids long. 
Um, and well, one of them I know off the top of my head, like collagen that like makes your skin bounce back. If I like pull my skin, I don't know. And I, it bounces back. That collagen is over a thousand amino acids long. Um, and then these amino acids are linked together by what's called peptide bonds, and that's where you get the name polypeptide. So to summarize, the monomer of proteins are amino acids, and the polymer of proteins is a polypeptide.